process starts through the distillation method. The incoming water is initially passed through the condensation chamber for cooling the further process. Then the water enters into the preheater and some quantity of water converted into vapors. Thereby the process is continued and the vapor is passed through the post heater vacuum chamber to get the complete steam. The steam is travelled to the condensation chamber for the condensation process, thereby the water which is passed through the condensation chamber will help the steam to condense. The condensed water will be in distilled form, so it needs some minerals and salt content. For the addition of minerals, a customized filter is built inside the system with, may, with various mineral contents which are obtained from natural sources. The idea was proposed for further funding for building prototype and we have received 2.5 lakhs to build prototype from Dr. NGR DST Newton IDC. Hello, the title of our project is Thermal Management System for Electric Vehicle Batteries. Currently, we are incubated under Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Center of Excellence in Innovation and Entrepreneurship. We have also been recognized under the scheme of DST Nugen IEDC. To give you a short introduction about the problem, the nominal temperature of the battery cells in electric vehicles is near about 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. While uh, charging and discharging conditions, what happens is the temperature rises near about 60 to 80 degrees. The existing system utilizes vapor compression cooling system consuming 2 to 3 kilowatt power during charging as well as discharging. Existing thermal management system fails to work at ideal conditions that is to maintain it in nominal temperatures that is 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. This causes cells, uh, cells to die and uh, it also causes unconditional accidents, major accidents. So the problem statement that we have chosen is increase in temperature of the battery cells making it uncertain and reducing the life because of frequent charging and discharging conditions. So to talk about the solution that we are providing, firstly about the temperature. The proposed system reduces the overheating of battery while charging and discharging and ensures cooling during charging conditions. Secondly, in the field of power consumption, it prevents the expenditure of power for thermal management during the charging and discharging conditions. And finally, when we talk about a setup, it is finely insulated setup to avoid any leakage of coolant with perfectly designed feedback. So to talk about the technology that we are using, we are using here pervaporation. Pervaporation is carried out by a nanoporous membrane made up of sintered copper. So before uh, making this membrane using sintered copper, we have already tried membranes using polycelphone and chitosan flakes. Only after calibrating the results uh, with all these three membranes, we have decided to use sintered copper. So using heat transfer, pervaporation allows only water to get vaporized from water ethylene glycol mixture and water is again sent back to the coolant tank. So this way, the surface temperature is reduced.